morning guys, what is up, what is happening? Today is going to be a little bit of a different vlog and something that I'm really excited to share with you. I'm here in Kamloops at the We Are One Composites headquarters and we're going to do a little factory tour, learn about the process of actually designing and manufacturing a carbon rim. My friend Fraser Andrew, we went to university together, he's making me a coffee right now and he's also the lead engineer here. So he's going to tell us a little bit more about that process and about We Are One. Haha, <laughs> you know how to get this day started right, thank yeah. you. Get woken up. Uh, get so, that's good. How's it going? It's going good. Been good. Pretty excited to find out a little bit more and sort of show everyone around in the vlog of what goes on here. So yep. come on, tell us a little bit more about We Are One. So yeah, We Are One, we started about a year and a half ago. Um, kind of, I've been here from the beginning as well. Um, Dustin started it up and we kind of did it to try and keep control of everything and we wanted to make the whole manufacturing in-house so that's from every step of the process from making our molds to the rim like every part of the rim to finishing wheel building is all done in this one building so wow so everything's handmade hand laid design yep. in Canada that is pretty impressive yep. so something a little bit different to all the other manufacturers I guess everything's yeah. controlled done here yeah, we have a bit more control over our process, a bit more, more access to better materials. We can yeah, make sure everything is kind of perfect or is even better than we want it. And that's what gives us a better product. So, Excellent. Well, let's get out onto the factory floor, find out a little bit more about each step of the process. And now you can show us around. Yep. CNC mill. Um, it's free access, one of the larger ones you can buy. It's basically what we can make our molds on just managed to fit it in, um, but all our molds made in house, so I design them and we have a machinist that helps machine them, sometimes I machine a bit of them as well. Perfect surface finish, we also do them quite quickly, get quite a few molds made out, so. Certainly yeah. a pretty fun toy. It's pretty fun, pretty scary to use. Yeah, so. I'll bet. Use these at university back in the day. Yeah, this is definitely yeah. upscale model, a bit yeah. nicer as well. Yeah. So once the molds have been designed and come out, then what's yep. the next process? Um, so they get all sealed up and mold released, so coated to make sure that the carbon doesn't stick. Um, but then basically the next process goes in the layup room, um, where the guys actually lay or cut the carbon and they start laying it into the molds. So let's get in there and find that. out a little bit more. Here we're in the layup room. Um, it's also where we cut the carbon. So we have our CNC cutting machine. Um, this cuts out the specific layup that we design. So we design it all in-house, do all the FEA finite element analysis of it, do a lot of testing to actually test how it, each rim works and mainly play with the layup, all the orientation, thicknesses, how it all goes together. And that's what we kind of have as ours. Um, it kind of keeps us unique. This is part of the pre-lay. So it gets cut on the table, um, the fiber, we buy it in basically um, rolls of fabric almost. So it's kind of flexible. Um, you can bend it and put it into ways. Um, it's called prepreg, so it has a resin impregnated in it. Um, it's cured off by temperature or by heat. Um, so in one direction, the fibers are super strong, um, which is the way the carbon's running, and then the resin's pretty weak. Um, it's only holding all the fibers together in the other direction. You can't just lay it in any direction. Um, it has to be specifically so we want all the stress, I guess, and strength to be in the fiber direction because that's what actually takes the load. Um, so for the impact and for the stiffness, it all depends on which way we lay these fibers. So that's what we spent months, like pretty much six months, trying to figure out the best layout for this. So then once everything's cut onto this cable, it's then yeah. actually all hand laid, which is quite an incredible job and a huge process. Yeah. Now it's something that we're not gonna talk too much or show much about. Carbon fiber is hard to automate, um, and we're also a small company, and it's quite complex design, and the way the layout goes in is very complex, so it all has to be hand put in. It takes about an hour or so to lay it into our mold, so that's what the kind of skilled workers here do, um, so they're actually laying into the mold every day. Um, big old heavy door. Big industrial oven. Um, it's hot in there. Gets hotter Close with that the door. Um, So yeah, if you go in here, you put a rack of a couple of molds at a time, um, they go in and then that's, once they're baked off, cool them down and they get demolded. So. And demolding station over here. Yep. Come on, I'll follow you over. Get taken apart here and get cleaned up. 
um, kind of covered with mold grease again, so they're ready for the next time to be laid up. Um, and we try and cycle through the mold a couple of times in a day, um, try and get the most kind of productivity out of it. So, um, and then, yeah, a new machine. But all of these in design them, Fran. I'm yep. impressed, man. So that all is that. a very, very nice job. Well, the old mold so now, it's looking a bit tatty, but they're still, uh, still looking still good, good right? Proud so, of you. Thanks. Okay, so next step in the process, where do we go? Uh, so let me go over to the drilling. Yeah, I'm just go here. Once they're come out, this is actually, that's a good example. This is straight out of the mold. It's still got all the flashing on it from the mold parting line. Um, but the surface finish is exactly how we sell it. We don't actually touch any of the surface. There's no coating, no like um, clear coat or anything. We just clean up the parting line, take a little sharp bit off and uh, fill the holes basically. What I actually really, really think is cool is that you know who has made each rim and who has laid off by that little signature right there. Yeah, it's a neat little finishing touch. Done by Wayne here. Yeah. yeah, and we keep track of everything, our process. We got the serial number on there, we can track back to exactly which roll of carbon it was, who laid it up, who cut it, we have all that tracked on the computer. So any problems, we can see exactly who's done it, which model even it's come out of. Finished it off and then marked up for yeah. drilling. Yeah, marked up for drilling and then they come over to this. Uh... So yeah, after they're marked, um, depending on how many holes we want to drill, uh, they come in here, these are they look a little rudimentary, but they work perfect for what we want. Um, give us really good holes. Um, we've made all the jigs in house. The beauty of having CNC here is that we can uh, machine anything, any tooling, any fixtures, anything we want. We have like such a good machine. Um, so yeah, these jigs will be machined up. Quick change on them for different molds. Um, we drill the nipple holes, and then it goes over and gets the backside kind of access holes in drilled. Um, and then that's pretty much the end of it. They get deburred, and that's them either into wheel building or shipped out as rims with decals. So um, there's not much work after they've come out of mold, which is good stuff. So. That's really cool. So let's head on upstairs. We can show the packaging area, also where the wheels are built. Yep. And then we can talk to Dustin. Yeah, sounds good. This is our wheel building area. We, once all the rims are drilled, they're either brought up to our holding area and either get shipped out or whenever an order comes in for a wheel build. We've got a good selection of hubs all on hand, so bring them in and uh, build them up. So um, if you order anything online or if you order yeah, a wheel set, everything's hand built, hand laced here, and then shipped out from this point. Yep. Well, let's head over onto the sort of packing up area and show some of the stock that you have. Oh, yeah. And uh, some of the test pieces that you've gone through. Ahead of us all this, you can see there's a lot of test wheels. This is, most of this was for our first kind of six months first year of developing the product. Um, there's a lot of wheels that took to refine, testing them. Basically, we could go through a test a day and a new layup a day, because we've got the layup in-house and we've got all the test equipment in-house. As so we can lay it up one day, and by the afternoon, actually testing it, come up with a new layup the next day, and we do that, repeat that cycle. So we do a lot of different variations, find out a lot about the rims and the wheels, and uh, come up with the best product through that. Time to talk to the boss. Yeah, we need to talk. Oh, wow. I was watching one of your YouTube clips and I noticed that what the? we need to talk about how to apply decals to rims. Show me how. Bring in the wheel. So our rims are drilled offset and have a center parting line. What you want to do, place the wheel in front of you and have the offset to the left. Then you want to take your decal pack and remove the We Are One logo decal. Have the one facing you and count back two spokes from the valve. You want to push the decal through the spokes and line the cut line and the orientation line up with the center of the parting line. Then you want to slide the decal in between the two spokes that you've counted out from the valve. You want to line up the cut lines and the little hashtag line up with the center portion of the parting line, like so. Then you want to apply pressure in a sweeping motion across the first two-thirds of the decal on both sides. We'll rotate the rim over and continue the sweeping motion back and forth until the decal is securely placed. Once one side is applied, simply flip the rim over and repeat. And that is simply how you apply a We Are One decal to any of our products. All right, got you. Looks pretty easy. What about custom decals? I'm on it. 
Meeting adjourned. I think I've had enough time in the office now. It's time to head to the trails and go ride at the bike ranch. Wednesday night here in Kamloops, all the local riders get together and they go for a big group ride. They're all positioning over there. There's about 40 riders, three different groups, and we are one are hosting them tonight for barbecue and beers apri ride. We're at the Kamloops Bike Ranch, and this place is meant to be pretty sick. Let's go check it out. I either got dropped or I've sprinted off ahead. The trails here are sick and I figured it's time we make a little shred at it. With this last remaining light and these rad trails, let's get to it. Back at the headquarters now, the barbecue is lit, the beers are flowing, and there is a factory tour going on. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I had a really fun rip around the Kamloops Bike Ranch. And if you want to know anything about We Are One Composites, then I'll leave the link in the description where you can find out even more. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the trails.